How are we? Welcome back to Top Dog. I'm your guy, Johnny Dogs, and today we're covering a dog breed that is truly one of my favorite breeds. We're going to be talking about the almighty Rottweiler, or Roddy, as I like to call them. I had a beautiful Roddy named Ruga. He was a 140 pound American Rottweiler. He was a perfect dog, other than destroying about 5 TV remotes, 4 Nike shoes, 3 doors, and even an iPad. My mans told me he wanted to FaceTime his mother and I come back and he turned my iPad into an afternoon snack. Other than that, I would recommend getting one. Rotties are considered one of the oldest surviving dog breeds. Rottweilers were first seen in the 19th century and in 1931 they were certified and recognized by AKC or American Kennel Club. If you want to know anything about dog breeds, Google them. The Rottweiler was one of the first dogs to be domesticated in Germany. They were known as Rottweiler Meskehound, which means Rottweiler Butcher's Dog in German. They were primarily used for herding livestock and pulling cots to the butcher's market. This continued into the mid 19th century when railroads replaced dog cots. Rottweiler, the name, actually came from an old free city called Rottweil, Germany. These dogs were bred to work. They were used for police dogs, guard dogs, search and rescue dogs, and many other titles these dogs can do. Roddy's famous colors of fur are all black with a tan underbelly. Fun fact, Rottweilers have super orbital whiskers or dots for eyebrows. This helped the Roddy's guard livestock at night when the predator was trying to hit a lick on a sheep. Predators couldn't tell if the Roddy was sleeping because his eyebrows reflected off the moonlight which made it look like my guy was up when he was catching Z's on the job. Traditionally, Rottweiler's tails are docked or cut short. The reason for it was for the use when Rotties were pulling cots, their tails would get in the way. Also, they docked the tails for Rotties got into a fight they wouldn't have a disadvantage for his enemy to grab. It is completely unnecessary to dock your Rotties tail, but if you want to keep the tradition going up, that's on you pal. I personally wouldn't do that to my dog. All around, if you want a loyal dog and a dog that will protect your family, a Rottweiler is the way to go. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more dog content. Until then, smell you later.